Hello everybody, uh, as Prof said, we're just a very short summary of the history, discuss imaging and further management. So the second case is a 24 year old male we saw last week. Um, he's been in the hospital for five weeks with severe aggressive multiple sclerosis and according to his family when he first came into the hospital he was completely spastic um, but he improved over the course of the five months. Um, he, he, has, he had minimal mobility only with physio support but was not mobilized independently. So we were asked to see him because he developed one day history of severe abdominal pain that came suddenly. And um, during the episodes, he gets really sweaty, vomits, and then the pain settles. So, um, and uh, he also has a significant history of constipation since childhood. And it was um, kind of related, or, or the neurologist thought it was related to his MS. Now, um, he w this patient also was, initially had a PFA, and this is the, X-ray of his abdomen. Eddie, um, look at the standing large belt. Um, the center is over there. Uh, it's concerning for large belt obstruction. And the distribution of the colon is uh, yeah. about right. Do you have any joint help? I mean, it looks like it's not a common glucose for a large bowel in the center. I just wanted a sigmoid bowel, but there is a large sigmoid in the middle of the sigmoid bowel. So, so why, why not? Why not a sigmoid bowel? Because sigmoid tends to go the other way; it tends to flip to the sides here and become bean shaped. This looks to be the reverse, which is for a sigmoid bowel than a sigmoid bowel. It's, it, it is a bit more central than usual. The typical seat sigmoid should be like a rugby ball this way, it shouldn't have something really kind of sigmoid like a rugby ball the opposite way. But so it's kind of, I think you could argue the BFA, um, either one, but the thing about bottomless is the, is the key point, yeah. Okay, so that's correct. Um, and the radiologist, the radiologist actually thought this is his cecum and right side in the center of the abdomen. So we proceeded with the CT scan, and these are some of the slices from the CT. And again, we can see the cecum and the right side of um, his colon torted and in a central position. Um, so th this patient was diagnosed with a cecal volvulus. He improved a little bit. There's a little more than just a volvulus in the scan, though, isn't there? Does anyone want to get the bonus points? It's certainly a cecal volvulus. Anyone want to comment on the small bowel? I don't know if here, but she spoke about it. So um, he improved a little bit, and then he had another episode of severe excruciating pain that sounded ischemic, uh, almost on, on clinical grounds. So um, we took him to theater that night, and this is the image on, um, uh, this is after just opening his abdomen, and basically his cecum was twisted almost 360 around his axis. He had a very long redundant mesentery, and the peritoneum was also quite long. So we did the right hemicolectomy and um, we joined them up and uh, he's doing well post up and recovering in a good condition. So anyone, anyone would anyone try endoscopic decompression for the right side? We saw now in the evening. I mean, if possible, to, I think if the patient was a bit better, it's possible to try it. Mr. Mozo, Mr. Jimmy, any, any thoughts? Would you try to come on scope and flip it back? You can just about see the twist of the base there, can't you? Even if, you, even if it was successful, which I think is unlikely, you likely to need an operation at some stage or other. Yeah. Be recurrent, so and so. But to scope them and then maybe to do a laparoscopic right heavy, I mean, the problem here is it needs a colon, so that needs, you probably need a resection to fix it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but would you try and break the two, or do you think just go ahead and. Like I say, I would go ahead and take the wing to a post op one of these laparoscopic things. Very difficult to figure out where the small bowel reason is supposed to be, and you're worried it's going to be a twist in the small bowel reason. Yeah, very hard. Actually, it can be very difficult, can't it, to to to. Avoid.